Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title. And we're here in the Bahamas, sharing the Word of God. So I'm glad that you're here joining me for the Lord's Word of God today. And today we're going to look at the elements of prayer. And so the first passage we're going to look at is found in the book of James, chapter 5. And reading from verse 16, the effective, fervent prayer of the righteous man avails much. What that means, brothers and sisters, is if you're living for Jesus, practicing righteousness, your prayers are not only heard, but they're going to be answered in the affirmative. And we all want that. Amen? Amen. The next passage is in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Again, if you practice righteousness, he's going to hear your prayer. Amen? Amen. All right, secondly, we'll go over to the book of John, chapter 14. And this is Jesus talking, and we'll start reading verse 12. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. The greater works that Jesus is talking about here, and that's greater than making a blind man see is bringing somebody to salvation, brothers and sisters. And so, after he left, he left the Comforter, and if you're saved today, you believe Jesus came incarnated from him, died, was buried in a rose, and you have repented of your sinful ways, you have the Holy Spirit in you. And you too can do that greater work by bringing people to salvation. Amen? Amen. So now, reading from verse 14, If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Brothers and sisters, this is why genuine Christians, born-again Christians, pray in the name of Jesus. You have to pray in the name of Jesus for your prayer to be answered in the affirmative. Amen? It's all about Jesus, brothers and sisters. He came to die for our sins, and He is filling us with His Holy Spirit. That's part of Jesus inside of you, brothers and sisters. Powerful, powerful. Amen? Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, reading from verse 15, the very next verse, he says, If you love me, keep my commandments. Again, he's answering the righteous prayer, okay? And anything you ask for in the name of Jesus, if you're practicing righteousness, obeying his commandments, brothers and sisters, you're going to get it. Amen? Amen. Now, we're moving to the book of James, chapter 4, reading verse 3. You ask and you do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures, okay? So if you're living a righteous life and you're following Jesus and you have the Holy Spirit in you and you ask in the name of Jesus and you don't get it, it's because you're asking amiss. Greed is involved. Remember, the love of money is the root of all evil, brothers and sisters. Amen? Amen. And now we're moving to Matthew chapter 11, verse 20. Then he began to rebuke the cities in which most of his mighty works had been done because they did not repent. Brothers and sisters, to repent is to serve God, not your sinful self. To walk after the flesh is selfishness. It is not pleasing God. Reading verse 21, Jesus says, Woe to you, Chorazins! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. And brothers and sisters, today is no different. Everyone knows of or has heard of a miracle. And so they have no excuse for not repenting and giving their life to Jesus. And I want to end with talking about King Saul as an example. God made King Saul the people's king, but he disobeyed God. And so reading from 1 Samuel 16, verse 14, it reads, But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. Brothers and sisters, he doesn't care who you are. If you depart from him, he will depart from you. Don't let it happen to you, brothers and sisters. Always remember to pray up every day and read up every day and take Jesus as your master, your teacher, your example. Believe his doctrine and obey him. And we will all be with our Lord and Savior someday in the kingdom of heaven. Amen?
Hey, man.